Hi, my name is Rick. I'm a former Special Forces operator and have many years of experience in multiple survival situations. In 2013, we brought our idea for Concealed Handcuff Key to Indiegogo. We were able to use that campaign as a springboard to create a growing small business. Now we're coming to you to help bring our next major innovation in urban survival to life. Introducing the Evade Clip. This ultra slim tool features a stainless steel mini saw, a carbide rod saw, and a three piece lock picking set. The integrated clip in minimal size enables easy attachment and concealment on your clothing, in a pocket, or in a bag. After removal, you can flip out the mini saw to cut rope, cordage, and plastics, or the carbide saw for metals. And the three piece lockpick set includes two of the most versatile picks in a tensioner. We're really excited about this product and we need your help to bring this product into existence. By selecting a perk, you'll be reserving yours for when we ship later this year. Thanks for watching. You always know what's going on in your home. I know. Thanks to my Guardzilla. Guardzilla is my affordable all-in-one video security system that allows me to monitor and protect my home 24 hours a day, right from my phone. Now I can see when the kids get home from school. Hey kids, how was school? Good. Or see what Max is up to. Max, get off the couch. This is my Guardzilla. Guardzilla is my all-in-one security system that protects my home and family from anywhere. Godzilla's breakthrough technology makes your home a smart home. It features a wide-angle video camera, motion detection, night vision, two-way audio, video recording, and an ear-splitting 100 decibel siren. Godzilla is easy to set up. Just plug it in, download the app, connect to your home Wi-Fi, and you're ready. Best of all, Godzilla costs less than $100. Make your home a Godzilla home, like ours. Order your Godzilla today at Godzilla.com. Electricity generated by hydropower, hydroelectricity. The conversion of sunlight into electricity, solar power. The extraction of electrical power from airflow, wind power. All these methods are eco-friendly. Now meet Jiffy, a small stylish wearable device that fits in your pocket. This is the device that will save all your other devices when they run out of juice and there's no power outlets in sight. It's very easy to use Jiffy. All you have to do is rotate, and through a USB cable, let it charge your other devices. With Jiffy, you're completely independent of any power supply, electric network, or wall socket. Jiffy is an eco-friendly charger that has a priceless advantage, which is the fact it doesn't need any special conditions to work. It is perfect when traveling absolutely anywhere. From the woods, to the desert, and to the jungle. It's the perfect solution in emergencies, like unexpected blackouts. Your batteries will be assured by Jiffy. Thank you for supporting us and believing in our project. Jiffy, the charger that keeps on giving. We've always felt that there just needs to be a fashionable alternative for our climbing community. Our obsession helped us continually stay the course through this long process. We pulled inspiration from a variety of vintage shoes and this classic footwear that stands the test of time. The biggest thing for us was marrying fashion and function. Through a series of introductions, we finally landed on a designer from France that we fell in love with his work. Together we spent about a year and a half perfecting our concepts. It was really important to take a lot of different foot types and foot sizes and learn the needs of climbers at different ability levels and really incorporate them into the functionality of the shoes. And then mixing that functionality with our design ideas was probably the, the most difficult thing to do for these final rounds of samples. The rubber we found is a new rubber. It was originally designed for sticky outsoles for shoes for the military. 
A lot of the samples we saw and looked at were actually rubber samples that were applied to shoes for the Navy SEALs for different approaches and the different outdoor activities that they do. Changing the color of the outsole rubber while remaining sticky has never been done before. It's really become the signature of our collection. After we went through enough samples, I felt like the shoes were finally at the point where we could test them. There have been a lot of people that really supported us. There's also been a lot of people who just didn't get it at all. Some designers looked at me like I was crazy. There's um, reps who told me to give up. And others told me like, they're just industry giants that you're gonna be up against. And occasionally we feel like we're just, maybe, maybe we are too small to attempt this. These types of things just fuel us for the long road. I guess overall, we just refused to take the easy way out. I just really want to create and make something different and interesting for people. Throughout history, people have been pretty good at solving problems. We fix things, change things, and if we can't, we invent something. But there are some problems that we've all faced for so long that we've forgotten that they're even problems. We've given up on finding a solution and accept them as normal. My name is Dr. Michael Larson, and these are the kinds of problems I solve. Sleep is and has been a huge problem for a lot of people. Why is it in an age when we can send a picture instantly to anyone in the world, we can't come up with a solution to help people who are not getting a good enough night's sleep? That question hit home for me in 2012 when my own daughter was diagnosed with a sleep disorder. To call the drug that was prescribed to her harsh would be a gross understatement. It was GHB, and that name might not mean much to you, but it's the date rape drug. And I remember thinking to myself, is this the best we can do? Give a 17-year-old girl the date rape drug in order to sleep better? Why don't any sleeping solutions work? Why do we accept harsh drugs as a solution? Why is it that gimmicky products that claim to track our motion when we sleep get bought by the millions? I think people started accepting these solutions because they gave up on finding a real solution. My job is to invent things that solve problems. A lot of times, instead of specific things, inventions address broad issues. I knew if this problem was going to be solved, I couldn't just solve her problem. I couldn't just solve sleep disorders. I had to solve sleep. And that's what I did. I had to start by defining sleep. Sleep is a mystery, but one thing we do know is that our brain activity rate has to be really slow for our bodies to be asleep. The challenge then was to find a way to intentionally slow your brain rate. And what I found were binaural beats. And frankly, they're amazing. On the surface, binaural beats seem to just be two tones, one played into each ear, but they're actually so much more. Each tone is set to a very specific but different frequency. When these signals cross in your brain, your brain adapts to them. So depending on how you set these frequencies, you can raise or lower your brain rate. The studies behind binaural beats speak for themselves. However, binaural beats, although effective, can only slightly change your brain rate. 
When you first go to bed, your brain rate is about 50 hertz. And to fall asleep, it's got to get all the way down to 10 hertz. We discovered that your brain won't adapt if the beats try to get your rate from 50 all the way down to 10 in one shot. It's just too big a leap. But what they can do is take you to 45, and then to 40, and then to 35, and so on. So the question became, how do we know when to change the beats at the right time? The answer is, with this. With just this little guy, we can monitor your brain rate. When we put this in charge of the binaural beats, it knows exactly what tone to play. When your brain rate lowers, the chip records that and lowers the tones accordingly. And when we combine all these elements, we came up with this. We call it the Sleep Shepherd. At night, when you're getting ready for bed, all you do is put it on and hit Start Sleep on the app. It instantly begins monitoring your brain rate and begins to play the right binaural beats. As the Sleep Shepherd senses your brain rate lowering, it changes the tones. It's smart, too, because it knows when you fall asleep. And when you do, it turns off the tones, but it continues to monitor your brain. If the Sleep Shepherd senses your brain is waking up, the tones will turn back on and guide you back to a deeper sleep. Because a Sleep Shepherd keeps you in deeper sleep for longer, you can get the same amount of sleep you usually do, but now those hours are going to count more. Because of its organic shape, because it's lightweight, because the fabric breathes so well, the Sleep Shepherd is incredibly easy to sleep in. On your back, on your side, it doesn't matter. You're going to forget you have it on. The Sleep Shepherd is not some 3D render that might get made once we get funded. Both the fully functioning Sleep Shepherd and app for iPhone and Android are ready right now. There are a lot of features with the Sleep Shepherd we're really excited about. It tracks every aspect of your sleep. How long you're asleep, what kind of sleep you're in, even your head orientation during the night. And it holds on to this data so you can see how it improves your sleep over time. In the morning, the Sleep Shepherd uses the same concept it used to put you to sleep, but in reverse to wake you up. Over time, it gently wakes your brain up. Everyone's had that morning where you wake up and feel refreshed. But it's more than that. You wake up, you're ready. You're alert, you're excited. You wake up and you feel incredible. That's what it's like when you wake up with the Sleep Shepherd. My daughter's been using the Sleep Shepherd every night. And as of December 2013, she's off the GHB completely. She's sleeping better, and her life has changed for the better. For the first time, we have a real solution for sleep. And we think that's something to get excited about.